tonight's special report, Somali reporter Jamal Osman has been into the region for an exclusive meeting with the Islamists of Al-Shabaab. Watch. <laughs> I think the main reason I wanted to become a journalist was what I had experienced in my childhood, which was violence, uh, injustice, uh, abuses. And I thought what I could do to help myself as well as my people, and I thought journalism was the best option. Channel 4 discovered me at the end of uh, year two at Kingston University because I did a number of stories about uh, East Africa and I thought here come a, an opportunity <laughs> and I said to the producer if I come with you you're more likely to do a better story than just you guys going there because I'm a local I know the region quite well and I can do a good job that was the beginning and the rest is, is history I'm doing about a film about Somali Islamists who control most of Somalia I am here to talk to Al Shabaab to find out what they think about the British government's big Somalia conference. Their bosses are going to view it later in the day, so we have to finish the first draft of it, and the film will go out tomorrow, so we are up against it. Al-Shabaab is seen in the West as a violent, fanatical regime. I think I had a tough childhood. Uh, I happen to be a Somali, and someone who uh, happened to be a child during the civil war. Seeing killings every day was part of life. When I left school, uh, I think I was about 10 or 11. And that was it. There was no education, no public services, no law and order. And I spent there many years just doing all sorts of jobs to survive, to feed the family. It made me a stronger person. It made me more determined to achieve success. So I decided to just head somewhere safe, somewhere where I might be able to develop uh, and have a better life. So in 1999, came to this country uh, as an asylum seeker. I mean, when I came here to the UK, I was 20 years old. I found a warehouse job and then I worked in a laundry as a laundry assistant. After two years, I got married, uh, had two kids, and then in 2005, I thought doing a labor work is not good enough for me. I could do better things for myself and for humanity, if you like. So I went back to education to study journalism at Kingston University. He had a lot to learn, and he had quite a lot to prove, both to himself and, and to the rest of us, but uh, he really knuckled down. I mean, that, that is the thing about Jamal. He's, he's determined. When he wants something, he's going to get it, and uh, there was no stopping him. I think at the beginning, most lecturers and fellow students thought that I was too optimistic. All the odds were against me. English is not my first language, and they thought he's not probably going to make it. But because of my experience, I was determined to achieve success. And I think Brian straight away recognized my needs. He gave me his telephone number to start, and he said, you can phone me whenever you want. We teach, but the students really have to make the, the effort. And Jamal made the effort big time. I was always on the lookout for news stories. I wanted to practice journalism, and he was there to advise me. I became the news editor of the River newspaper, the, the student's newspaper, which students in year three produce. Jamal was, an, was a shoe-in, really, for the job of, of news editor. He was a natural, having shone as a student. By then, he was really a standout uh, performer in news writing. And it's an enormous tribute to his um, persistence. He showed that he could do this, and then Channel 4 News went to him uh, to get him to do it for them. I have been offered other jobs, like the BBC or Al Jazeera, and even The Guardian, and I have all declined to take because I, I prefer working here. I worked very hard for it, to be honest, and I, I'm still working very hard. I never let my guard down. Uh, yes, I have been lucky looking back, and I think, and I hopefully it will continue. I think that of all the stories of all the people who come to this country, 
um, with nothing. Uh, this is one of the most inspiring I've ever come across. Um, it's a measure of, of personal no, talent, there's no doubt about that, um, but also of, of, of persistence, of endeavour, of imagination. Just phenomenal. And we are delighted to say that Jamal Osman, whose report from Somalia you saw a few moments ago, was honoured last night by the Royal Television Society for his report on the Somali Olympic team training on the front line of the country's civil war.